If you guys want to win more games, get innovative plays and updated game metas, then visit trythisplay.com and use code NOBLE at checkout for 10% off your purchases. Link is in the description. What's up today, my fellow Madden soldiers? So what I'm going to do right now is explain to you guys why I decided to get rid of Derek Thomas in exchange for Lawrence Taylor. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So recently, as you can tell right here, I'm going to go ahead and click on this. You see, I sold Derek Thomas for 246K, right? Um, I think right now he may be going for like 250, 260, 270. So he's, he's always up and down, right? But let's go here. Let's go over here and go to the auction block so I can show you exactly why I did what I did. Um, the thing is, I like having a fast linebacker, but there's other right outside linebackers are just as fast. So I technically didn't need them. I'm not really tripping on. Uh, I wasn't really tripping on keeping them. I just completed the set, so I held on to them for a minute. That's another big reason why I didn't fully power them up. But anyways, as you can see, you go over here to the uh, the 92s, and they're going for 140, sometimes lower, sometimes just a little bit higher, whatever the case may be. What I'm trying to say is that you can actually get a lower overall card for cheaper, right? So I was like, okay, so Derek Thomas is going for... 250 240 i told mine for 246 but he was going for 250 260 and so forth right so i was like you know what it's better for me to sell Derek thomas get my coins um get lawrence taylor which i haven't yet in this video i'm gonna fully power him up because he's just as fast if not faster and much more effective or just as effective and he's a lot cheaper right so even if we were to get lt and buy him um, he's pretty cheap, but the thing is I'm gonna use a power-up pass on him. See the 90s right now. Whoa, whoa, the 90s actually went down. I, I didn't even know they went down this much. Wow. So let's go to right outside linebackers. Yeah, I didn't know they went down this much. So here it is here is Lawrence Taylor is going for only 90k. So I could buy him, it's not a problem. But the thing is, I have an 89 to 90 power-up pass, and I'm about to get another one. So I had I had to really think, right? Um, should I keep Derek Thomas because um, he I wasn't gonna buy him but apparently someone bought him that fast then give me no time so let's go all the way down here and just get the most expensive one or just look at the most expensive one so they don't buy it that fast so look it okay so this one is so he's a, this one's a 91 right so the 90 I would assume is gonna be okay I'm not even gonna look at the 91 so let's go yeah, let's go to the 90. The 90 is right here. So let's go. So I'm probably buy real fast too, but I'm not tripping. Anyway, so he got 87 speed. That's really the main thing I want to look at. Um, he got 86 blocks, shit, 89 power move, 87 finesse move, which is which is pretty decent, right? He got 87 speed. I power him up. He's gonna go to 88 speed, and I put a sprinter and everything on him. He's gonna go to 90 speed. So he's just as fast as Derek Thomas, and Tom Derek Thomas is almost three times more as much as Lawrence Taylor. So, uh, I mean, yeah, three times as much as, uh, as as Lawrence Taylor. So, yeah, so I've, I figured in the end it's cost effective to build my team. And I also wanted to record this video because I want to show you guys basically how to go about building your team without having to spend that much coins. And if you also have other players, you could consider like, you know what? Do I really need this player? I could sell him and actually get two or three play players that are just as good. And I can actually go out there and win a lot more games, right? So that's why that's a big reason I like doing these videos because it's showing you guys how to basically um, build your team, you know, a little bit better, be cost effective, and so forth. But if you're like, for instance, if you're a fan of of, of Derek Thomas or he goes for your theme team, that's a little bit different. Then you're gonna hold on to him because I know I would have. Um, another big thing too is is that the only right outside lamb right now to me. Uh, Lawrence Taylor will be one of the best ones as well as Derek Thomas, but he just more like just a lot more coins to buy him. But until they actually release a Dallas Cowboy, a good one as a right outside linebacker, I'm gonna I'm probably most likely gonna hold on to Lawrence Taylor either way, but I actually put him as you know my number one. But right now they don't actually have one. I think um I think Vanderesh and Sean Lee, right? Vanderesh has the power, so I think eventually Vanderesh will get a will get an actual a higher overall but it'll probably be later but once he does then yeah he'll be our actual starter when it comes to right outside linebacker but for now we need to get someone on our team that's more cost effective doesn't cost that much training and uh that we can add to the squad so 
that's what I want to show you guys right there. Always look through your squad, man. If you guys have certain players that you're really in tripping off of and you can sell them for a lot more and get the same type of position for uh, the, a lot cheaper and just as effective, don't hesitate to do it, man. I'm telling you right now, it does help out. Look, I'm back up to a million coins because I did it. Um, I probably spend, I'll, I'll probably go back a little bit down under a million coins because I probably have to get more training and to power up certain players. But besides that, though, um, I'm content with what I've done. Like that was like one of the best decisions I did because it actually helped me uh, um, get more coins and be able to do what I'm gonna do. So I already got training. So we shall. Yeah, see, I had Lawrence here because I powered him up before, and I might be be able to sell Derek Thomas. I hope he's going for quite a bit. We'll see right now after this. But let's go to upgrades, and we're gonna upgrade Lawrence Taylor. So I had him before. Dudes, you guys already know. Like there's there's no. There's really not much for me to explain to you guys when it comes to Lawrence Taylor. You guys already know he's a goon, like straight up. Um, but for those who don't, just know that he's one of the best right outside linebackers in the game. And depending on who's released at the time, he is the best right outside linebacker in the game, right? So I'm using a power pass on him, which didn't really cost me much. So, all right, there it is there. Um, but for you guys want to see the X factors and abilities and so forth, I'm going to go ahead and go over them right now because certain people may just be tuned in, may, may even consider getting Lawrence Taylor. So I want to show you guys right now and answer all your questions when it comes to um, his card and what he got to offer. So he gets Fear Monger as an X factor, Unstoppable Force, Reinforcement, Zone Hawk, Shutdown, Run Stuffer, Avalanche, Momentum Shift, and Southless. First tier abilities, he gets quite a bit, not too much, but he gets quite a few. So he gets Homer. Indoor Baller, Adrenaline Rush, Mr. Big Stop, Extra Credit, Bogo, Spinner, Swim Swim Club, Ripper, and Second Win. Second tier abilities, Speedster, Reach Elite, Stonewall, Unpredictable, Instant Rebate, Clutch, Under Pressure, Unfakeable, Secure Tackler, Adrenaline Rush, Indoor Baller, Homer, um, Bogo, Extra Credit, Mr. Big Stop, Ripper, um, swim club so we got a lot of the same stuff on the second one um some new ones so this is a third tier ability so third tier ability the other extra abilities is that he's going to be able to get on the third tier which is a, quite a bit more is outmatched defensive rally double or nothing no outsiders goal line stuff inside stuff edge threat al toro speedster so we've already seen the speedster reach elite so everything else is the same we got those few other extra added uh, abilities on the third one um we're also going to we're going to put new york giants kim um, I think he only gets times two, right? So we're going to put lockdown times two. All right. So we got sprinter. Times one sprinter. So he also could be a left outside linebacker, which I'm not going to. He should have been like a D line too, right? But um, they didn't give him that. Also, he has that one, that one. Okay, so he has these different arts. I'm probably going to go with the first one because we don't have it on that. I actually like this one. It's actually kind of goonish right there. It's like one of my favorite ones right here. But I also like that one too. So we're going to go ahead and keep that art. I like that art better. Uh, we'll add him to the lineup right now. We're going to see his abilities, see how he's looking and everything. Um, but yeah, with Derek Thomas, I also could have kept him. And I, I have a 91 92 power up pass. So I could have took off one of my players that I actually don't really don't need right now. But in the end, I, I wasn't really going to keep him like that. It just would have been for the meantime. So look at this. Power up is going for. 39k itself so it's going for actually quite a bit wow i'm probably i'm not gonna i could sell it i find if i need to sell, sell it but right now um i'm just gonna go ahead and hold on to it because you just never know i'm gonna hold on to it for now so oh yeah so let's want to put them into the lineup and then we're gonna check out his uh stats now see we're we're missing because i just sold him earlier so that's why he actually sold within i'll say within five minutes he was gone probably sooner but i know within five minutes for sure he was actually gone they bought him that fast he was the cheapest one on the block so let's go ahead and check out uh this guy's abilities he went up to a 92 overall now with blue kims so let's see his uh attributes now that i always say abilities i mean his attributes there we go so look at he got 90 speed 93 acceleration 85 strength, 90 tackle, uh, 90 play rec, 87 block shed, 90 power move, 88 finesse move. So I'm liking that. Let's go see his hit power. How much is his hit power? 
Hit power is 88, which is actually fairly good for a linebacker, so I'm cool with that. But regards to the fact this dude is a goon, so I'm all right with that. Um, and I know, not just that, look, at another thing to keep in mind, too, um, a, a big plus of me adding him to him because he got a he got a legend early on into the game. So I know eventually he's about to get another upgrade eventually pretty soon. So me knowing that I already have him powered up, I would I could just add the new uh, player to him and that will be actually good for me if I decide to you know to stick with him the whole time. But I already know eventually he's going to get another upgrade. So that's a big reason why um, another big reason why I wanted to get him back on the squad. Right. Well, what I don't like right here, as you could tell you know you know before they have the two linebackers back to back the middle linebackers now they got this empty spot right here between these two which i don't like they need to fix that it looks very ugly um come on man like we're paying all this money to play this game and i'm not trying to log in this little missing spot that we can't do nothing with that looks ugly man they need to fix that um i do need to power up taylor mays he was one of the free um free 50 players that i got i chose him because you know i actually had his one of his 80 overall players and this guy was picking off everything so i was like you know what i'm gonna go ahead and get him his actual real card because he actually was getting the job done as an 80 overall so i was like i'll go ahead and get him um so I, that's why i got him so i end up powering him up which i'm going to do i do that in the video too but he's a, so it's lawrence taylor is a new member to the squad i told you guys why i got him like i said look at your squad see if there's any players you could sell to to get better um better players uh they'll make it basically they'll help your team out way more so you can actually do more with the extra coins you get for selling the players right so anyways there it is there i got rid of Derek thomas picked up lawrence taylor i want to be uh restructuring this team just a little bit more right there's a few other players I want to power up and add real quick before this blitz promo comes out so um yeah there it is there i'm going to leave it right there if you guys like seeing what you're seeing drop a like if you have any subs of the channel there will be more great amazing content coming your way thank you guys all for tuning in i'm out